Hey guys, welcome back to Design Junkie 58 where we do reviews on mocks and other cool creations and today I'm pumped to tell you all about subtractors. So basically how a subtractor works is it uses um, two uh, motors, one for drive, one for steering. So this version um, I'm using an XL motor and a medium motor to operate the system and so essentially what happens is if you use the two motors in conjunction with each other um, the vehicle will turn in an arc, similar to how a car operates in a turn. Um, but you can use each motor, in, each motor independently from each other to turn the vehicle in place or forward or reverse. In which case right now the vehicle would be driving forward or in reverse. And if you steer the vehicle by itself it just turns in place. But something really cool happens when you use the motors together. Like I said, they work in conjunction and um, it would turn an arc. As you're seeing right here, the outer knob spins faster than the inner knob, in which case it would be turning left in an arc, um, or vice versa. Just depends um, which direction you're operating the vehicle. I will be posting instructions in this video about how to build this subtractor, but not about how to build the actual tank chassis. So like I said, stay tuned guys. And uh, I'll put a link to some of my other previous videos, especially about this transverse subtractor. In the top corner, you guys can check this version out in a separate video. So, catch you guys in the segment coming up. Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, as you see here, this is my latest tank. Actually, one of my faster tanks, surprisingly. It uses the uh, LiPo um, rechargeable battery pack. Um... But most importantly, it includes the subtractor we talked about in, a, in the earlier segment in this video. It's the longitudinal subtractor, and uh, it is buried deep in the chassis. As you can tell, it uses the XO motor for the drive. It will be using the M motor for steering. Also note, it has the fake engine uh, connected to the drive so be watching during the driving segment coming up um, the reciprocating pistons you can note the arc that it makes when I use the controller here and um, so just be on the lookout for some of those cool things when I'm driving the vehicle 